In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add extra audio for your widgets in the all new Adobe Captivate. I'm Paul Wilson, and I make videos about e-learning, specifically the authoring tool Adobe Captivate. If you like what I'm doing here today, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and by all means, share this video with your e-learning colleagues. So this is a feature I've been asking for for a long time. Now, I actually was hoping for something a little bit different, and I'll explain that in a little bit, but I want to go through the basics so that you can learn how you can add audio to your widgets in Adobe Captivate. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the carousel widget, but we'll be looking at other widgets uh, in the near future. So let's take a look at my slide here. I have uh, basic four steps that I'm covering off in this content carousel here. And it's actually one of the easiest things that I think you could do. Select one of the pages that you'd like to add audio to. I'm going to start with page number one. I'm going to click on the interactions icon in the right hand toolbar and we're going to add an interaction and we're going to select object appear and from there we really only have one option and that's to play media. Remember in the past with previous versions of the all new Adobe Captivate there was no access to interactions within the widgets themselves. They just worked the way that they worked and you would add the content on screen. Well, now you can duplicate that by adding the audio that matches this first page. So I'm going to browse to where I happen to have that on my computer here. And I'm going to say carousel one and we're going to click on open. Next, we'll click on page two. We'll click on add an interaction. When this object appears, we'll play the media, and we'll browse to carousel two. Same thing for page number three, we'll add an interaction, objects appear, play media, and browse to carousel three. And last but not least, we'll go to page four here, and we'll add an interaction. And when this object appears, we'll play the media, and in this example, Carousel 4. We'll click on Open, and that takes care of that. So let's preview this and take a look at what we're dealing with here. Be specific and tell the person exactly what it was that offended you. This is an important first step and will help the person understand the problem. Don't just say the behavior was wrong. Tell them how it made you feel. Use I statements to help your coworker understand how their actions or comments impacted you. It's an essential step to explain what acceptable behavior would be and how you expect them to behave. Finally, describing what steps you will take if you do not see a change in their behavior will help them understand the seriousness of the matter. These steps should be based on the reporting process from the harassment policy. And of course, as you may or may not have noticed, the next button is now available and your student can continue with the rest of the project. And I think this really adds to, I guess, not the interactivity because obviously it's still just as interactive as it was before. But what it's doing now is creating something a little bit more dynamic. The one criticism I have of this particular way of dealing with the audio is that there's not going to be any closed captions for this because we're not using the regular closed caption process to generate. We're only importing audio. And what I'd like to see from Adobe, maybe in a future release, is the ability to click on page one and instead of the interactions icon in the right hand toolbar, click on the audio icon and then use the generate audio through the AI voices that are available. But fingers crossed that will come someday. But in the meantime, we have a much more improved widget that I think is going to be making many of our stakeholders very happy. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com 
and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.